Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. Today, I am doing a series called Sun Care Saturdays. So this is the second installment. Last week, I did my sunscreen roundup with my friend Melanie from the channel, Mr. Kong's Mom. I will link that if you wanna check that one out. Today, I'm just gonna share with you some of my favorite sunscreens that double as foundation. So they're kind of multitasking sun care meets skin care meets makeup. If you're new here, I hope that you will consider subscribing. And I also hope that you will follow me over on Instagram. I will put some of these with the swatches and stuff in stills over on Instagram if you wanna get a little bit closer of a look. I'll also put my Instagram handle and link in the description box so that you can head over there if you wanna check it out. Okay, so for today's video, I'm gonna share with you three. I actually have a bunch more, but these are the only three that I have that actually have a shade range. And I decided that I'm just gonna nix any of them that I use that only have one color. And so we're gonna start with HelioCare. Now these were sent to me. They actually sent me a big old box of all kinds of stuff, which is super exciting because last year in my sunscreen video, I actually touched on the HelioCare supplements that I love, continue to use, started using those over a year ago and I had bought them myself and I bought the sunscreen myself back then. So it was really nice of them to send me this so that I could check out other things from the line. And oddly enough, the one that stood out the most to me is the HelioCare 360. This is actually their oil-free. And according to you know website information, this one is actually really good for people with acne-prone skin, with oily or combination skin. And I am normal to dry and dehydrated and I love it. Now I do wear it over a bunch of hydrators and that kind of stuff, but I think it's fantastic. Now this is an SPF of 50. It is oil free and it comes in three shades. So it comes in a pearl shade, a beige shade, and a bronze shade. I will swatch all three of those for you. This is 50 mil. And the deal with this one is this is out of the UK and the sun filters that are in here are exceptional. They're next generation sun filters that are not only way better at absorbing and reflecting and protecting us from the sun and from UVA and UVB, that they're so much better than the ones that we have access to here in the United States. It just blows my mind. And not only that, those particular sun filters are also extremely stable, which that's the downfall of avobenzone, which is what we have here in the States in a chemical filter. It's so unstable that you put it on. That's why we have the rules about, you know, reapplying every two hours, because when you're actually out in the sun, the sun, you, the UV rays degrade that avobenzone. So some of the filters that are in here that I'm not even going to try to pronounce, actually are so photosensitive that they last more than a day before they've lost like 10% of their effectiveness. So they're much, much more photostable than the ones that we have access to here in the United States. The other thing about HelioCare that is important to know is the con, the negative, is that there is a fragrance in here and it is low on the list. I think it's last on the list. There's limonene, linalool, and there's also parfum, so that's fragrance. And you guys know that that is not preferable in my book at all. This is one of those times when the overwhelming number of amazing ingredients makes me still like this product. So you have to decide for yourself if, you know, you have to decide if the parfum and those two fragrance ingredients are a deal breaker for you. It's important for you to know that they're there they aren't for me in this particular circumstance. Given the quality of the filters in this product and given the other antioxidant and the other amazing skincare ingredients in here, I'm willing to overlook those three ingredients. I just am, but you have to make that decision for yourself. So what else is in here? They have something called Fern Block. That sounds kind of, um, you know, it sounds kind of gimmicky, but when you look a little bit deeper into what Fern Block is, it's actually this amazing antioxidant cocktail of vitamins. 
And the deal with antioxidants and sun filters is they work really, really well together to protect you from not only just the rays and what they can do, but also from free radicals and the damage that can exist just from being out in the environment and being exposed to UV rays. So antioxidants are fantastic. That's why it's often a great idea to use your vitamin C during the day as kind of a booster to your sunscreen because it helps to protect you kind of in other ways when you are exposed to UV light. So this has that fern block, so it has that cocktail of antioxidants, but it also has vitamin E, it has green tea in it, which is an amazing antioxidant that is also anti-inflammatory, and of course, really good for you know just scavenging free radicals. Green tea is incredible. It also has a next generation version of vitamin C, that is a lot more stable than L-ascorbic acid. That is also in here. So all in all, you guys, this is definitely skincare. That is also sun care. That is also makeup. It's just, it's just beautiful. And I'm wearing it today. This is what I have on today. I've been wearing it several times. I've worn it several times. I do, because I have dry and dehydrated skin, I do wear this over serum and a moisturizer, you know, that kind of thing. If you are acne prone, combo, oily, you could probably get away with this just with your, obviously with your normal skincare. So it's, it's pretty cool that it is that flexible. And I normally would never have purchased this given the description online. So I'm, I'm excited that I got to try it. So I wanna swatch these for you. Okay, so this is pearl, then this is beige, so that's the one I'm wearing, and you need to know that it is actually a touch darker than me, but it works. And then this one is bronze, and it's bronze is way darker than I am. And yeah, so those are the three. I am testing a bunch of their other stuff, like I said, they sent me a big old box. So that is the first one. The second one, we're gonna to go to the other side. This one would be good, for normal and dry dehydrated skin. And this is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. Now this one is an SPF of 40. This has 18 shades and it goes from very fair to very dark. It is considered clean beauty and it is 12% zinc. Now this one is actually a non-nano zinc and what that means is that it's not bad for the environment and it's also not small enough to get into your bloodstream which is a very, very good thing. Now this one actually has niacinamide, it has squalane and it has hyaluronic acid in it. It is a fantastic cocktail of skin loving ingredients along with an SPF. Now the people at Ilia actually say that you use a quarter of the dropper full and that will give you adequate protection in SPF of 40, which is kind of important because a lot of times when you buy a sunscreen to use as a foundation, it isn't, you can't use enough to get the number on the bottle. You would look cakey and terrible. I love it that they have formulated it in a way that you're gonna use the amount that you actually want to use to look good, and it's gonna give you the number on the bottle. I also love the fact that there's 18 shades. I think that is awesome for a sunscreen type of foundation. Now, I would say that if you're really oily, you're not gonna like this one. It is definitely a serum. Now this shade, just so you have reference, I'll swatch it for you. This is ST10 Porto Ferro. And I will tell you, it's touch dark for me. I probably could have gone with nine or even, even a little lighter. It's right here. I would say that this is light to light medium coverage. And you definitely can just apply it with your fingers. Now I'll show you guys. The thing about this one from Ilia is it gives a good skin day. I mean, it really, if you are normal to dry or you are dry, this Ilia is a beautiful finish. I will say it's not super long lasting. I mean, it's obviously really hydrating with the squalane and you know all of the hydrating ingredients in here. So I never plan for something like that to last me 12 hours or anything but I do get a solid day out of this and my skin just eats it up. It loves it. And I always get compliments in real life when I wear this one. 
people actually say, oh, your skin looks good because it just gives this really hydrated, beautiful glow. And SPF 40 is nothing to sneeze at. That's actually pretty nice. So that is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF of 40. Now the last one that I'm gonna share with you is by Trini London. I've talked about this one actually before. This one is probably the least skincare. This is the most makeup, but it is an SPF of 30. Comes in a tube with a pump. I already took the cap off. It's five shades all together. And they say at Trini London, they say that that can cover all skin tones because each shade can actually kind of morph into a few different skin tones because it's kind of sheer, sheer to light-ish coverage. So it comes out looking like this. It is white. Ignore my self-tanned hands. I had a snafu. I started self-tanning and then decided to do a little mini facial right after I self-tanned. So my hands got in water and stuff. Like, who does that? How dumb. But the Trini is another one that just gives really good skin, you guys. It's just a beautiful finish. So this one has an SPF of 30. This is one of them that obviously you can wear it all by itself as your foundation and your sunscreen. But another way that I do wear this one is I actually wear it over a dedicated sunscreen and I use this as my foundation and I just consider it to be an extra layer of SPF protection, but it's beautiful as a foundation. So I love that. I just think it's fantastic. It is a chemical sunscreen. In case I didn't say, the Ilia is mineral, it is zinc. And the Helio Care, like I said, is a ton of chemical sun filters that are uh, the next generation type. So those are the three that I consider to be the very best as foundation meets sun care meets skin care for these two and an awesome option for sun care meets makeup here. So hopefully there is one in there for any of you that are watching. Comment down below and let me know what you are using if you like to use an SPF product as your foundation. I would love to know. I love learning about new things and hearing your suggestions. I hope that you'll tune in next Saturday for the next Sun Care Saturday because I am going to be sharing with you all kinds of options for makeup that contains SPF that's purposefully meant to help protect and add another layer. I have blushes, eyeshadows, lip products, under eye concealers, the whole nine so that if you are wanting to really amp up your sun protection and have basically a full face of layered sun protection, I'll have something for everyone. It's pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend so far and I will see you over on Instagram or I will see you in my next skincare video on Thursday. Take care.